Hi there, this is uh, the third example of centroid problems. What I'm going to point out here is that uh, we're just going to find a combined uh, centroid for all four of these shapes that are kind of slapped together. I'm going to put little X's where each individual shape has its centroid. And that's just from experience, knowing where they are. Um, I don't have exact numbers, and I actually ha I do a lot of these problems right off the bat. So hopefully I, I get them right, and you just let me know if I don't. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So we got to identify the shapes. First of all, bottom left. Um, let's make sure that's our point of reference, okay? First of all, we have a we have a rectangle, we have a rectangle, we have a triangle, and then we have a what is that? Is that a ellipse? No, that is a quarter circle. So we can use those shapes now. Remember, go back to your table, and you'll find all your little um, tabulated results, and that way you don't need to stress out about oh where where's the centroid of a half circle or whatnot. No, you already have it tabulated out. Now it's time to use it. Let's just find. We're going to just hop right in. X bar. I'm going to do the X bar of the entire thing, okay? So I'm going to label them first. This will be, um, well, I mean, you don't really need to label them, right? Probably should, though. Let's just do it. You have one, two, three, and four. Rather than calculating X bar right away, let's just find out the areas of each. A1 is going to be. 50 times 50. Okay, then A2. A2 is going to equal 25 times uh, times 80. Okay, so first of all, let, let's calculate that out. That's 2,500 units, whatever that is. This is 25 times 80, which is 2,000. And then you have your A3, which is going to equal 50 times 80 uh, times 1 half. So 50 times 80 times 0.5, that's also 2,000. And then, lastly, you have your area 4, which is going to be pi r squared. And 4, that's pi, times the radius, which is going to be 50 squared divided by 4. So 50 squared times pi divided by 4, you're getting in the vicinity of... Mm, 1963. That's an area. So now you have all your areas. You can see that they're all pretty comparable to each other, so you should see a nice little averaging effect. Okay, so now let's calculate our x bar, finally. A1. Where is the distance? It's halfway through, so it's only uh, 15 or 25 units away, 25 units away, times the area, which is 2,500. Let's keep going. Area 2. That's going to be the full length of A1 plus half the length of A2, right here. Half the length, that's 40 units. So that'll be a distance of 90 times the area of A2, which is going to be 2,000. Keep going. You have your distance uh, 3, so that's the total length of the box, uh, A1, the total length of that, so that's 50. So that's, this distance will be 50, right here, plus one-third of 80. So, one-third of 80 is around 26.6, we could just say, plus the original 50 from the box. So that's going to be 76.6. That's our distance, times the area, which is also 2,000, plus, now we have this, uh, quarter circle. The rule is for the quarter circle that, and watch it because the way the table is tabulated, they're referencing everything from the, cen the center of what would be the circle. 
that would be right here. That would be right where all four of the shapes meet. Thus, we need to make sure that we don't screw up here. The distance to the center of that circle is going to be, let me just write that off separately here, it's going to be um, 4r over 3 pi, which for our shape is going to be 4 times 50 divided by 3 and divided by pi, right? Which that is 21. 21.2, okay? But, mind you, that that is the distance, if we were to cut it out, that's this distance. That's 21.2. We need the opposite so that we can bring it to, we, we need this distance right here, we need this little x here, so that we know what the distance to our reference point is. So what is that? That's just the radius minus whatever's location, whatever this 21.2 is. So it would actually be 50 minus 21.2, which is going to be, let's just say, 28.8 times the area, 1963. Good year. All over, not that I would know, all over the sum of all the area should be 2500 plus 2000 plus 2000 plus 1963 which is 8463 let's see what that comes out to plus 90 times 2000 right plus 76.6 times 2,000 plus 28.8 times 1963 all divided by 8463. We have an x bar of 53.4 units, whatever that is. So what that's saying is this is actually leaning to the right a little bit more. So if I were to redraw this shape, having to do, if I were to redraw this shape, something like this, it would be somewhere along this line. that dashed line. Let's see if we can do the Y bar real quick. <laughs> real quick, huh. Okay, once again it'll be for the, the big box be 25 upwards times the area 2500 plus um, let's just do this area 2 which would be halfway from the middle. So it would be 50 to get to the middle from this, from the reference point, it would be 50 to get to the middle, then you have to backtrack 12.5, 12 and a half, half of 25. So if you just work that out, that's just 37.5, so 37.5 times 2,000 plus, now you have to work your way to um, a y coordinate y coordinate right here. This is going to be 50 plus one third of 50. So it'd be 50 over 3. So 50 plus 50 divided by 3, which is going to be about 66.7, say. So 66.7 times, once again, 2,000. Let me just drop down here so I don't ruin the picture. Plus... the final area, which, mind you, we already know that distance. It's going to be 21.2 plus, because we already found it out over here on the right, the distance to that centroid of the quarter is 21.2, so 
21.2 plus the box, um, the initial box of area 1, you'll have 50 plus 21.2, that's 71.2. 71.2, 1963. All over 8463. If you work that out, let's see what that comes out to. 25 times 2500 plus... You have your 37.5 times 2,000 plus 66.7 times 2,000 plus 71.2 times 1963, all over 8463. And that comes out to be 48.5. That's how you solve these kind of problems simply and efficiently.